Hurricane Fiona in September 2022 was the first major hurricane of the North Atlantic season and was a damaging storm for several nations from the Caribbean to eastern Canada, where it produced the lowest ever sea level pressure recorded on Canadian land. In this video, we'll take a quick look back at the storm from its start to its demise. On September 12th, the National Hurricane Center began to monitor a tropical wave over the central tropical Atlantic. It progressed westward for a few days, forming into a tropical depression. At 1.45 UTC on September 15th, the system attained tropical storm strength. This is the intensity at which the National Hurricane Center names tropical cyclones, and so it was given the name Fiona. It was just the sixth named storm of the Atlantic 2022 season that had been surprisingly inactive up to this point. On the 16th of September, Tropical Storm Fiona passed through the northern Leeward Islands, producing damaging heavy rains. The French territory Guadeloupe received near-record rainfall, and 40% of the population were left without water for a few days. On the 18th of September, while approaching Puerto Rico, Fiona intensified to hurricane strength, making it just the third hurricane of the 2022 Atlantic hurricane season. The Eye of Fiona made landfall along the southwestern coast of Puerto Rico near Punta Tocón, between the municipalities of Alaja and Coba Rojo at 1920 UTC on 18th of September, with maximum sustained winds of 75 knots, that's 85 miles per hour or 140 kilometers an hour. Electricity was knocked out across the entirety of Puerto Rico. There was widespread flooding and hundreds need rescuing. One million people were left without drinking water. A rain gauge recorded 31.34 inches of rain. That's about 80 centimeters. At least 25 lost their lives. After tracking along the south coast of Puerto Rico, Hurricane Fiona crossed the Mona Passage that's the strait between Puerto Rico and Hispaniola. And it made landfall in the Dominican Republic near Boca de Yuma around 7.30 UTC, 19th of September, with sustained winds of 80 knots. That's 90 miles per hour, 150 kilometers an hour. There was widespread crop damage which ruined harvests for farmers in the Dominican Republic. After emerging off the northern coast of the Dominican Republic and back over the Atlantic Ocean, Fiona intensified, reaching Category 2 intensity at 21 UTC on 19th of September. This view seen by Aquamodis on 19th of September was when the eye just exited the north coast of the Dominican Republic. Back over warm waters north of the Dominican Republic, Hurricane Fiona intensified to Category 3 intensity at 06 UTC on the 20th of September. In doing so, Fiona became the first major hurricane of the 2022 Atlantic hurricane season. Overnight, 19th to 20th of September, Category 3 Major Hurricane Fiona's lightning-filled northwestern eye wall approached Cockburn Town, Grand Turk, Turks and Caicos Islands with peak estimated one minute sustained winds of 100 knots, 115 miles per hour, 185 kilometers an hour. Fiona's eye passed through Grand Turk. Total blackouts occurred on North Caicos, Middle Caicos, South Caicos, Grand Turk, and Salt Cay. And Sentinel-2 caught Hurricane Fiona early on 20th of September, when the eye was just off the north coast of the Turks and Caicos Islands.
21st of September, gradual strengthening continued and Fiona became a Category 4 hurricane with winds now at 115 knots. That's 132 miles per hour, 213 kilometers an hour. This was to be its peak intensity. On the 22nd of September, Hurricane Fiona approached its next target, Bermuda. On Friday, 23rd of September, the center of Fiona passed to the northwest of Bermuda at Category 3 intensity. The large field of winds brought sustained tropical storm force winds and hurricane force wind gusts to the island. Elevated automated stations across the island reported sustained winds of 70, 60 to 70 miles per hour for several hours, as well as wind gusts as high as 93 miles per hour. At least 70% of the island lost power. Fiona then progressed rapidly north on the 24th of September towards eastern Canada. As it passed from the Gulf Stream to the cool Nova Scotian waters, the storm rapidly transitioned to a post-tropical system. Pending verification, Fiona was the deepest low-pressure system ever to be recorded on Canadian soil, with a pressure of 931.6 millibars estimated. Exceptionally high waves were produced by the storm over Bankaro Bank. Waves averaged 12 meters to 15 meters, but peak waves went as high as 30 meters. That's almost 100 feet. The strongest wind gusts recorded were 179 kilometers an hour, which is 97 knots, with sustained winds estimated at speeds of 165 kilometers an hour, that's 103 miles per hour. Major flooding occurred in areas of Quebec, New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, with thousands of trees coming down. Homes were also damaged in Newfoundland. While Fiona had made landfall, another storm was developing in the Caribbean Sea. This was Hurricane Ian, and that will have to wait for another video. Thanks for watching.